figured I'd put together a video of uh, the mirror kits that I do. I finally got Jason Bourne to drop off his friggin' bike. And uh, I'm actually getting ready to do one to this right now. Probably tomorrow I'll get them on there. That's a fresh kit. And uh, up. Right. Got a mirror kit down here. There's a couple of them down there. These are R1 mirrors. And I just put the big Busa shell on the R1 stock. These are actually Busa mirrors going on a ZX14. Everything silicone to death, waterproof. I'll probably do a before and after. Uh, install video on that also but it's just basically how to install them wire them as far as wire goes uh, they bolt on just like stock mirrors uh, but I'm actually trying to make a video of this thing I did a lot to it when a friend of mine first wanted to put a bike together he loved my R1 and it was like just find me a, a CD just wanted a CBR though and he said just hook it up so <laughs> and I told him what everything I wanted. He was like, yeah, okay. So we wound up doing wheels. He's got quite a bit in this. And uh, after that helicopter video, uh, his wife is kind of on his ass about riding. So uh, I'm gonna wind up with this bike. But I did it just as if it was my own. Did a Cars Area V-Track wheels, um, Vortex rear sets, uh, clip-ons, uh, chain adjusters. Um, I even did the, the engine case, the Lexan engine case covers them. I mean, this thing, it, the fairing almost looks like it showcases the engine case. So I had to, I had to do it. I think it's sick, but. Um, did the levers, did my little, uh, Cut them down and manicure them for two fingers so you can, you know, it's good for launching a wheelie and you can still hold on with two fingers and everybody sees mine seems to like it. I did uh, the uh, fairing vents with the screen. And then we wound up doing a uh, stabilizer on it, these CBRs. The stabilizer is so big that it actually, the fairing is actually molded around the stabilizer. So when you go with an aftermarket, better one, uh, it leaves this giant opening here. So I couldn't have that. So I made a plastic cover for it. And then once I made that, I thought it would be kind of cool if I wrapped it in the same screen that I did the engine case with. So it all matches up real nice now. I don't know how well you can see it, but... And uh, that's going to be, uh, that might be a video as far as for anybody who wants to put an aftermarket CBR uh, stabilizer and not have that big gaping hole. But uh, basically the mirrors, normally there'd be an on off switch somewhere in the fairing or something like that. With this, I actually, this is actually a Jigsaw control module, which is going to be another video in itself. And uh, it's got a bunch of extra buttons for mode up, mode down, which obviously this bike doesn't have the, the up and down modes, but I could use, I use these for other things, turned out pretty cool. But the reason why I wanted it was because not only does it have a pass button, which the Honda doesn't have, uh, it, uh, it has a hazard button, which is a, you know, the bike doesn't have hazards anyway, but now you can use that for anything. So I'm using that for the mirrors. So I don't know how well this, the camera's gonna see the, the picture, but I mean, you know what a navigation looks like and a rear view looks just like it under, under good conditions. I mean, now there is downsides to these. It's definitely, it's a wide skirt, wide angle. So like right now I'm actually on the screen. So as far as a car goes, I mean, you're either seeing the whole front end next to you or the whole back end on the rear view. There's no blind spot. Um, when the cars are directly behind you at a traffic light, depending on where your camera's mounted, this one is mounted right above the muffler here. 
and uh, it's just a bullet camera pretty good light control but uh you know headlights directly in them it absolutely kills it until obviously you get away from them or you you, you know leave the light but uh depending on where traffic is at night the headlights often put a glare on it but you can see where they're at so you know i mean i normally don't use mirrors anyway i just always look so i did this because it was trick i thought it was cool and i needed a navigation anyway and people were like yo can you do my bike and after a while i was doing quite a few so but this is this is these are the ups and downs to them they're definitely a trick you go to go to any bike night or any bike hangout and and it's all you're gonna hear what the hell i mean they get a lot of oohs and ahs and it's handy like i said you get the navigation it's a touchscreen nav uh now the normal kits don't have sound this one does have sound that's going to be another video not only does it have sound it has bluetooth from your phone um it's got a police scanner obviously you can when we're sitting around bullshitting at the uh, steps where we hang cops are called on us a lot so this way we know about it ahead of time so usually when we're sitting there i got the police scanner coming out of the dash there's speakers built in behind the the shield here so you don't see them but the sound comes splashing out from here it's pretty cool my phone bluetooths through it it uh it actually uh, tells me who it is picture id on the navigation the bluetooth is through the nav but normal systems are just navigation no sound but you don't really need sound when you get in here you go to it's all garmin software they're raw screens but i use the same software as garmin's do so it's it's you know how to use a garmin it's it's the same thing so basically you go back and forth gives you your speed your average speed your max speed uh 155 max speed ah he's a punk um you know like i said it's got a lot of other features it leaves the breadcrumb trail so if you uh if you find a real nice curvy road out somewhere you could actually mark it and map it and then save it and it'll take you right back out there the next time you go 1.1 mile we're making a right Can I? Uh, can you see your bike? Cause I didn't see any bikes. I'm on the sidewalk behind the tractor trailer. A lot of cool features. It's got the little motorcycle guy on him. And like I said, now this is a normal kit, no sound, which is both mirrors complete, ready to bolt up, and. Uh, the camera that goes on the back, depending on the bike, depending on where the camera has to go, it's going to affect headlight glare, sun glare in the daytime, bright sunlight. You definitely get some glare on these screens if the sun's behind you. So again, there are some downsides to it, but I mean, I'm used to riding without mirrors anyway. Like I said, these were just basically to get a navigation on the bike. Some people just want it for the trick value, which like I said, it's definitely gets a lot of, a lot of oohs and ahs. Um, so that's going to be a video, uh, the R1 here and I got a lot of all these other buttons on here it's got a headlight conversion kit so I got the LED uh, the LED projectors oh yeah and then the back of the headlights I, uh, I changed up a little bit I, uh, I cleaned up the wires took the no wires coming out for that horn wire I just hit everything I possibly could down there cleaned up all the sides in the beside the steer tube and all but the back of the headlights you could actually see the blue anodized heat sinks in there there's actually little cooling there each little cooling fans for each uh projector and i just yeah tried to make it real clean looking with no wires but yeah damn clean looking down there and now. one of the buttons over there does something really cool with them as far as even safety goes so that's going to be cool so i got quite a few videos that are going to come back from out from this uh as far as mod videos and stuff like that and uh yeah this harley over here is going to be another one this is basically i put a nitrous oxide system on it just a regular system that injects it right into the air box but uh i mounted it up with motorcycle chain and uh we just now ordered the blue and black chain brand new this is just old chain i wanted to try it i thought it looked pretty trick he loves it so now we're going to get a matching blue and black chain i'm going to redo it with the blue and black and i also figured out a way to use his horn button for his uh for the nitrous and still be able to use it for the horn too which is going to be a video i'll put a diagram on there so if anybody wants to uh 
uh, I do use it for their nitrous on a uh, Harley. Like I said, most of the guys just give up their horn altogether. Well, this allows you to keep your horn and still use the horn for nitrous. And uh, so I'll probably have a video for this also, the R1, once it's uh, finished as far as the kit goes. And then obviously the mirror kits are pretty, pretty universal. Now this is a little bit more involved. My CBR has got a uh, custom dash that I made. And I mean, it's got Bluetooth, it's got speakers built in, rear, you can see the rear video, but I don't know how the picture looks on the, on the uh, video, but I mean, like I said, the pictures are very, very crisp. And uh, it's all built in the dash, touchscreen nav, sound. And again, this has also the same thing. My Bluetooth, my phone tells me who it is. I can answer my phone and actually ride with this one. It's not that loud, but it's plenty loud enough to actually answer a call. And so it was pretty trick. And I rode this bike for about eight years. The bike was good to me, very good to me, so. Um, but now the best part of this is it's just one big computer plug right here. And then I used to be able to, when I rode it, I used to like to pop this out and show people it. And they just thought it was, they just trip out when it's a dash that was just actually in the bike and on. And I could just pop it out and show them my work. But I did the back in Lexan so you can, so you can see all the work. These are actually Bic pens. The back end of Bic pens and uh, they just push right into the original rubber grommets that the original speedometer plugs into. And it holds it in there tight. I mean, I rode it with it for three years before I, I got my R1 now. So, uh, but you just get it in there, line it up, and it pushes right in. And then you reach under there and plug the plug back in and it's that quick and easy. Oh yeah, and the uh, tag flipper. Made that about, uh, I think my YouTube video for that was eight years ago. Still works perfect. Be about seven hundred dollars uh, on my website. I got it for six ninety nine, and uh, I can make them so that they fit any bike. It'll just literally bolt right on. Uh, the only thing is with the, uh, with the mirrors, obviously the wires, to hide the wires, the wires come through the bottom of the mirror right there. So basically you, you will have to uh, drill one small pilot hole between the two bolts for your stock mirrors and then the wires will go through there and then mount on like that. And they're, ang they're actually angled so that they're level obviously so they look Right, but then the wires, they just go right behind the, the uh, fairing stay and down. And uh, so you have to drill one little hole right here. But other than that, it mods the bike in no way. And then even this, if you take this off, you put your stock mirrors back on when you sell it or trade it, the hole is covered up. So you, again, it's like there's nothing been done to the bike. And uh, you can actually put the mirrors on the next bike. So it's a pretty good setup. Like I said, I'll make a video out of that. And uh, you can see exactly what I'm talking about as far as how they go in and all. But that's it for now. But... Lots of videos planned, so stay tuned.